All right, everybody, welcome back to the 2019 National Collegiate Dodgeball Championships. We've got a great final matchup here with uh, Towson. Towson and Grand Valley, the defending states. But right now, we've got Rebecca Chappell. Um, tell us a little about how you got into dodgeball, the team you were playing for, and how, why you love the sport. All right, so uh, I play for Michigan State. I am our only girl. Uh, I got into the sport in high school. Our high school had a league and you do a little bit of like small payments for entry fees. Yeah, exactly. I went toward cancer research, so our friends oh. and I were nerds. We loved science and everything. We're like, you know, let's try it out. <laughs> we put a team together. We won two years in a row, fell in love with it. Um, I came up to state. They had a recruiting event for dodgeball. Saw the team, came out, did pretty well. And I was like, wow, I want to be really good at this. And so this is, I mean, what's so cool about you being a part of this league is what people may not actually realize seeing the um, – the the yeah the the male dominated field right here in, in dodgeball is that this is a co-ed co-ed league and yep. uh, female partnership is actually encouraged. How do you get more women in the league? Honestly, it's it's more about inclusiveness, and it's not saying the teams aren't inclusive already, but it's a lot easier for groups of guys that let's say play baseball right. to get together and talk about their past versus coming up and saying like, oh, you played softball, you were a pitcher, okay, you know. How do we keep you coming here? Because it's more intimidating as a girl coming in right. to a field of all men. God, I would love to see some underhand softball throws. We had a girl last year. She, I think she got clocked at 55 with that with a dodgeball. She was okay. doing pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So then how do, you, how do you really ramp up the feeling of inclusivity then it's in the league? It's more so just making sure people reach out to them. And you're, okay. re it, you're recruiting women the same way you're recruiting men. You right. look you know, for athletic females, athletic males. When they show up, you make an effort to talk to them. You make an effort to have them in on Bring plays and everything. Team, yes, right, okay. because the girl might not always be, you know, the girl that doesn't throw as hard as the guys. Right. You get them in on plays, get them to like the sport the same way you would the guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's been, I mean, you guys have been so critical. Um, I'm trying to remember who the other, Jennifer, um, on, I can't remember what team she was on. Is that o Ohio? I think so, Yeah, yes. I think it was Ohio. Yeah, uh, Jennifer was so critical in so many of these plays. You were so critical in so many of these plays. What has sort of been your favorite dodgeball experience so far? So, we also play in a league called Elite Dodgeball. Yeah, yeah. It's the semi-pro league. Um, we were in a winner-go-home situation. It was two-on-one guy no look through at me and I just dropped my ball dropped down to the ground it popped up and I laid out and caught it to keep our team alive in playoffs and that was by far and above All my right. favorite moment yeah ever. That, that's a pretty incredible catch um, well thank you Rebecca for sitting down with us thank you um, we're actually getting ready for the national dodgeball championship match it's going to be between ooh, Towson and Grand Valley yep. we've got our our usual our perennial winners facing against a new up-and-comer Towson playing a strong game and we're excited. I think everybody's here is ready for Towson to, to take over yes. uh, Grand Valley. So it's going to be a pretty, pretty raucous event going on here at, at Grand Valley. We'll be right back. <laughs> 